Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the SJVN Limited Q4 FY24 earnings conference call hosted by Alara Securities Private Limited. As a reminder, all participants' lines will be in the listen-only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchdown phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. And I've had the conference over to Mr. Rupesh Sankhi from Ilara Securities Private Limited. Thank you and over to you, sir. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, on behalf of Ilara Securities, we welcome you all for the Q4 FI24 conference call of FGBL. I take this opportunity to welcome the management of FGBL, represented by Mr. Sushi Sharma, sir, Chairman and Managing Director. Uh, congratulations and all the best, sir, for new role. And uh, we also have Mr. A.K. Singh, Director of Finance. We will begin the call with a brief overview by the management, uh, followed by Q&A session. Uh, I will now hand over the call to Sushil Sharma, sir, for his opening remarks. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. A very good afternoon to all of you present here. I am accompanied by Shri Akleshwar Singh, Director of Finance of our company, I am extremely happy to share that with the latest commissioning of our two projects, Gujarai Solar Project 50 megawatt and Raganeshra Solar Project 100 megawatt in quarter four of our financial year 23-24, with this our installed capacity stands at 2,377 megawatt. The 50 megawatt Gujarai Solar Project, situated in the state of Uttar Pradesh, will generate 107 million units of energy per annum. The power from this solar project is being sold to Uttar Pradesh Power Corporation Limited. We have also commissioned Raganeshra Solar Project 100 megawatt in the state of Gujarat with the capacity to produce 252 million units of energy per annum. The power from this solar project is being sold to Gujarat Urja Vikas Nigam Limited. Thus, in terms of these latest additions, 150 megawatt more power has been added which will add approximately rupees 99 crores to our revenues per year. I am happy to inform that in the month of March 2024, our Honorable Prime Minister of India dedicated four of our projects, namely 75 megawatt Parasan solar power project, 75 megawatt Gurra solar power project, 50 megawatt Gujarai solar power project, and 60 megawatt Natwar Mori hydro project to the nation and also laid the foundation stone of three projects of uh, namely 382 megawatt Sunni Dam hydroelectric project, 15 megawatt floating solar power project in the state of Himachal Pradesh, and 70 megawatt of solar project in the state of Assam. Also during quarter four of financial year 2023 and 24, SJBN through its subsidiary has bagged five solar projects with a capacity of 2,252 megawatt through open competitive bidding process. Giving you a brief preview of our project. Projects as on date, 11 projects of 2,377 megawatt and two transmission lines are under operation. Four hydro projects of 1,558 megawatt and one thermal power project of 1,320 megawatt and 12 solar projects of 2,048 megawatt are under construction. We are excited to inform that SJVN Green Energy Limited, SGL, a wholly owned subsidiary of SJVN, has formed a joint venture named SJEL Assam Renewable Energy Limited with Assam Power Distribution Company Limited for execution of 1000 megawatt renewable energy projects in Assam. The other JV with Mahajanko, Maharashtra State Power Generation Company Limited for execution of 5000 megawatt of renewable energy projects is also under process of formation. As a first among PSUs, SGVN has also secured rupees 10,000 crore construction line of credit facilities for its upcoming renewable energy projects from a group of leading domestic and international financial institutions. In the recent past, Government of India has also launched PM Surya Ghar Muft Bijli Yojana, which aims to provide free electricity to 1 crore households in India. We are extremely happy to share that towards this scheme, SGVN has been allotted three states, namely Himachal Pradesh, Punjab and Arunachal Pradesh. SGVN has also been assigned 
the responsibility of installation of roof top solar system on government buildings and 18 ministries have also been allocated to us in this regard you must also be aware that sjwin has been designated as one of the renewable energy implementing and agencies ria by ministry of new and renewable energy mnre to meet the 500 gigawatt target by 2020-30 during financial 2023 and 24 sjwin has floated tenders of 9.9 gigawatt out of target given to us of 10 gigawatt capacity the ppa and psa for 2360 megawatt has been has already been signed with developers and distribution companies i am also happy to share that sjwin is conferred with scope excellence award in institutional cap category in january 2024 for the commitment of the company in the growth of power sector for rapid expansion and capacity addition journey also sgl a wholly owned subsidiary of sjwin one prestigious diamond award for large scale solar project developer of year in uttar pradesh in the psu category during uttar pradesh annual solar awards held at surya kon lucknow 2024 in february 2024 i once in again retreat that sjwin is moving forward to achieve our vision of installing 25000 megawatt portfolio in the operation by 2030 and 50000 megawatt by 2040 thank you very much Thank you. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on your touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handset while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question is from the line of Mohit Kumar from ICICI Securities. Please go ahead. Hello. Yeah, hey. Good morning. Uh, sorry, good evening, sir. And good congratulations on a decent set of numbers. Sorry to interrupt you, sir. May I request you to use the handset, please? Is it better now? Hi. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, hi. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, sir. My first question is on the, on the renewable uh, portfolio. Can you let us know what is the operating asset as of now, and what is the the uh, what is the, uh, the the amount of projects which are under pipeline, and uh, any asset where you have won the uh, won the bid? Hello. Yes. Uh, Mr. Moit, I am a consulting director of finance. Uh, presently, you might be knowing that we are uh, operating four renewable projects uh, under uh, SJVN. Kiribati 47.6 megawatt, Sarla 50 megawatt, Charanka 5.1 uh, 5.6 megawatt, and uh, one uh, solar project at uh, Nagpur Jati 1.3 megawatt. Besides that, uh, we are operating four projects in SGL. Uh, 75 megawatt Prashan project and uh, 75 megawatt uh, Gujarat project uh, and 50 megawatt Gurha project plus 100 megawatt Dragan Sera we are operating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is the pipeline, sir? Pipeline. Total pipeline including the including L1, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving you. Yeah. Uh, under construction is uh, 2048 megawatt. Hello. Hello. 2048 megawatt. I think number is on the lower side, isn't it? I thought the number must be around.
Understood. So what is the timeline or what is the capacity of looking to install a commission in renewables in this fiscal and next fiscal? Next. This fiscal and next fiscal. Uh, this fiscal and next fiscal. Uh, next, next fiscal. This uh, total capacity uh, of about 2048 megawatt is coming in the uh, 2425. And the balance uh, uh, quantity of 4777 megawatt will be commissioned in the next fiscal, 2526. Understood, sir. And, sir. What is the plan to, is any plan to monetize the, your, your green energy uh, SPV? Uh, in fact, uh, we are planning to have some QIP uh, in current year, and we are in the process of initiating the approval, and thereafter uh, we will be almost uh, 10 to 15 percent equity of SGL will be uh, offered to the public. Understood. Okay. My last question is, so what is the uh, the, the timeline of Buxar and Nepal? Has it changed or it's been the same? Regarding Buxar thermal power jet, uh, one, unit, uh, one unit we are going to target in uh, quarter three and uh, four, uh, second unit in quarter, uh, quarter four. And regarding Nepal, uh, this 900 megawatt uh, will be in second quarter of uh, uh, this uh, uh, next year. This is 526, right sir? 900 megawatt? Um, in uh, October, November of 2025. Understood, sir. Thank you and all the best, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Apurva Bahadur from Goldman Sachs. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi, sir. Uh, you mentioned that you're planning a QIP of LCEL this year. Uh, so any uh, sort of... Uh, uh, Understanding that you can provide on uh, what what could be the size of this uh, offering? Almost 10 to 15 percent, up to maximum 20 percent will be offering of the current equity in the year. Okay, so any any sense on size in terms of the amount that you're thinking? Uh, size so determine. Uh, it will be determined. I am not in a position to tell you immediately. Sure, sure. I understand that. Uh, so, secondly, can can you throw some light on uh, the uh, incentive incomes in this quarter, and also if there is any under recovery? Uh, incentive current uh, year is total incentive is 182 crore. Out of that capacity incentive is uh, 157.71, and the UI is 24.48 crore. Last year it was uh, total incentive was 253.92 crore. Out of that capacity incentive was 210.29 crore and the uh, UI was 43.63 crore. Uh, the incentive, uh, in fact, uh, after September the government has put in restriction for operating the plant before, uh, above 100 percent. They are. Uh, earlier we were uh, operating the plant up, up to 110 percent, but now the restriction has been put uh, where we can only operate during the uh, peak season. And uh, uh, that's why there is uh, some less income on the incentive. So far the current quarter is concerned. Current quarter mein total incentive is uh, for Q1 mein 5 crore hai, jabki last year same Q1 mein 24.45 crore tha. Only 5 crore in this quarter? Yeah, yeah. And this is all about the capacity? Yeah. As I mentioned about this... Uh, this, capacity, uh, uh, this capacity incentive uh, during the quarter was uh, 1.37 crore and UI was 3.66 crore. Last year capacity in, uh, incentive in the first quarter was 25.36 crore. Quarter. Because our main life four season has been declared by from, Jan, uh, from June to September. So that's why uh, we have dip in this uh, capacity charges incentive. Okay, sir. And you mentioned about this uh, restriction which the government had put on operating the plant beyond 100%. Uh, so why was this the case? I mean, what's the rationale of the government for doing this? This is the new regulations given by the CRC. Oh, okay. okay. It is applicable to all uh, all the PCS, all PCS, hydro PCS. 
Okay. So could you elaborate on that? Like, uh, what are the alternatives that we've gone for? Uh, what's the amount of land that we still need to acquire, if any? Uh, mainly, uh, this uh, uh, we we were facing problem like this agitation in railway corridor and water corridor. So for water corridor, uh, the government of Bihar has already given us the government land so that uh, we can uh, we can uh, 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 we can uh, lay the pipeline pipeline on that uh, uh, government land. And for uh, this uh, uh, the railway corridor, we have. Uh, taken land, some land from the uh, railways, uh, uh, railways, and some land we are uh, in the pro process of uh, in uh, having uh, in, uh, agreement with the uh, some uh, uh, stakeholders, and uh, with this uh, 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 this with this arrangement, we we are able, we will be able to run the project. Okay, okay. And lastly, sir, on the. Um um, on the Arun 3 project, uh, again, timelines for them have, have kept on increasing, uh, and I think there were some transmission-related issues that we were facing over there. Could you elaborate a bit on that? Transmission-related issues, uh, actually, we were uh, this only uh, uh, issue in transmission line is the land acquisition, and uh, we are constantly, constantly in touch with the, uh, even uh, uh, higher offices of uh, Nepal Ministry, we have uh, uh, we have we are also in touch with the uh, even uh, we have requested even prime minister uh, of uh, nepal to help us in acquiring the uh, to expedite the land acquisition process so uh, with these uh, help from nepal government i think uh, uh, we will be able to uh, 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 commission the this transmission line well in time okay okay fair those are my questions thank you thank you the next question is from Delilah, Santosh Kumar Khenka, an individual investor. Please go ahead. You see, in the last uh, conference call, which held in uh, February, the, we, we get, you were given certain targets for Baksar, June 24, for Arun 3, February 25, and for Bikaner, 1000 megawatt by December 2, 2024. Now, I want to know whether there is any slippage in these uh, targets and what is the uh, renewed expect, expectation of commissioning. I just uh, answered uh, uh, these questions uh, because of uh, agitation uh, by local farmers and uh, disruption in our plant activities. The, uh, this uh, Baxter commissioning has uh, been slipped to uh, three four months uh, from June, and uh, because of a challenge in uh, uh, dam area in uh, this Arun three project, see the uh, the commissioning target has slightly also slipped uh, further, and uh, in Bikaner projects so we were facing some problem with the panels local domestic panels, so. Right. With this, with this uh, now I think uh, the, the situation will improve. I will be getting panel from June itself, and uh, uh, commissioning will be done in quarter uh, quarter three of this uh, uh, financial year of beacon or 1,000 megawatt. I see. Thank you. I have to ask only this question. Okay. Thank you. The next question is from Delina Arman from Blue, Cap Blue Sky Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah. Am I audible? Yes. Yes, please. Hello. Yeah. Uh, in the previous call, we told about a target of uh, in 2026 around 12,000 megawatts. Right now, in beginning, we told about 2,000 around we will be installing in this financial year and next financial year. So that comes to calculations around 6,500. So which are those projects which we are uh, which we will uh, operate in this? Uh, so at this financial year, next financial year, and why the gap for before we have the target of 12,000 megawatt and now it's only coming up to 6,500. What's the reason behind that? In fact, uh, there is a uh, slippage in the 1,000 megawatt Bikaner project and uh, Arun 3 and uh, this Baksha. Mainly because of the, that we are uh, lagging behind, but uh, this slippage will be only for five, six months. So we will be covering uh, almost 12,000 megawatt by the March 26. Okay. 
and uh, uh, one more reason, just uh, just a uh, perspective, is that we are seeing the appointment of CMD not for for the years like for four years or five five years. It it has been going on for the three months. Why is the reason for that? And when can we see a continuous tenure for five years also regular for the CMD position? In fact, the CMD post selection has already been done. And uh, in, in the meantime, this uh, charge has been given for the three months, and uh, we are expecting that within the three months the regular appointment will be issued, order will be issued from the Minister of Power. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Vipul Kumar Shah from Sumangal Investment. Please go ahead. Hi, sir. My question is regarding peak debt. You said uh, we will reach 12,000 megawatt by two, March 2026. So at that time, what will be our uh, 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 peak debt? Peak debt. Can you repeat yes. the question? Debt. He is asking about the by March 2026. Uh, what will be our peak debt? Uh, we will be intimating you separately. Separately? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. We will be intimating separately, uh, separately. Uh, separately after calculating uh, our uh, this uh, uh, debt, 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 debt um, uh, provision. No, my concern is it will be sizable amount and uh, your project, uh, so many projects are uh, facing delays in commissioning. So. How will you service uh, such a large debt and, and when your current revenue base is relatively small uh, in comparison to the projects you have undertaken? Uh, in fact, uh, during the construction, we have to pay the interest only, not the repayment of the principal amount. And that we are having sufficient projection. Uh, we will share also. In fact, it was on our uh, it was on our website also. And uh, uh, the many of the projects in uh, renewable sector we are commissioning in next uh, year, and from that uh, revenue generation will come. To do, we are not seeing any problem in the ser servicing of the debt. So one small suggestion, sir, why don't you put a detailed presentation where each project uh, when it will be implemented plus. What will be the funding requirement for each project? So that will be really helpful. Uh, in fact, uh, if you require, we will share, but uh, it, uh, sharing this on the website for each project, it will be very lengthy. Uh, I think one of your peers uh, already does it, project-wise uh, schedule and so... Uh, this is a suggestion, just think over it, sir. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, we'll think over construction. And uh, whom should I contact regarding this debt figure, sir? Pardon, pardon, can you repeat the question? No, no, my question regarding debt, you said you will come separately on that. So, uh, I should take uh, it uh, with somebody in your uh, finance department offline? Okay. Okay, you can do so, and you can have my number, company secretary's number, and you can put your question so that I can get it uh, replied by our finance uh, department. What's your good name, sir? My name is Somendra Das, company secretary. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Mohit Surana from Monash Network Capital Limited. Please go ahead. Good evening, sir. Am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. Just please speak loudly. Sure. So my first question is with respect to the exceptional item in the income statement. Uh, there is a 104 crore gain uh, shown as an exceptional item for this quarter. Uh, can you elaborate on that or uh, the reason for that? In fact, uh, there was one arbitration award against the Nakhmar Hakari project. And that award was against the us. We have provided it in the account and uh, as per our accounting policy. 
but uh, uh, we have challenged it in the court of law and high court, high court and the high court uh, single judge, uh, judgment was uh, in favor of us and the petition the uh, other party challenged it in the double bench and this uh, was again uh, uh, decided in our favor so we have uh, the provision we have made in the during the past we have received uh, reversal and now we have taken consider the exceptional item Understood. Understood. Sir, you, uh, there is also an exchange notification of uh, LKV and forming a JV with uh, Indian Oil Corporation. Uh, yes. Can you just elaborate on uh, what kind of business we intend to do with them? Uh, I think this is related to Green RTC. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you just give your thoughts on that? In fact, uh, IOCL is a, it's a, in itself is a uh, consumer. uh they need lot of power and they have also target to become the net zero and uh, venture into the green sector and with our uh, collaboration 50 50% p- joint venture partnership we will be able to uh, take more investment in the project in hydro also or in the, and renewable also plus the hydrogen sector also will go jointly the, there will be lot of opportunity and even in the sector of the ev charging uh, etc we will be jointly uh, uh, collaborating with each other and the iocl has a uh, big size of balance sheet uh, it will be it will be a very good win win situation for both of us 50 50 so this jv will uh um will be into uh, green energy and uh, apart from that it will also be involved in uh, power generation yeah power generation uh, hydrogen space as well yeah yeah and so uh, any timeline when uh, uh, when we can see some traction on the business activities in this jv uh, in fact uh, there is a process of uh, taking a pro- before going as any business uh, activity we have to take approval from the deepam and niti aayog niti aayog it will uh, almost 2 to 3 months time will be taken in that and after that uh, we will start activity we will cover the company uh, then we will uh, after approval of the deepam and niti aayog we will incorporate the company and we will start the activity and they are very much interested in pump storage also and uh, uh, in fact uh, they can only be net zero with the uh, their venture in the renewable sector so we will be trying to uh, invest uh, like uh, in other hydro project big hydro project like the italian we are uh, having uh, 3000 megawatt 3097 megawatt in arunachal we can uh, 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 try to develop it uh, with their collaboration also understood sir so uh, regarding uh, our uh, renewable energy portfolio uh, solar and wind currently is around 405 megawatt uh, on a combined basis uh, which is the operational capacity right now yeah. so what is our target for uh, the end of fy 25 26 and 27 for the next 3 years only the solar and wind portfolio combined Yeah, in fact, 2000 megawatt will be coming during uh, current year, uh, 24-25, and uh, almost 6000 megawatt will be against uh, next year, 25-26. Understood. So, and and for 27, FY 27, FY 27, I have to work out this. Understood. Yeah. Yeah. but it will be more than 2 gigawatt we are yeah approximately 2 gigawatt every year we are we are adding uh, approximately 2 gigawatt every year and so this one last question sir um we just wanted to confirm uh, i i think you already mentioned but for the arun 3 and buksar project both these projects will be commissioned by this year right so uh, arun 3 you mentioned quarter 2 of this fiscal year and book sir uh, by either quarter 3 and quarter 4 of this is clear is that correct arun 3 uh, october november next 25 uh, in fact not fiscal uh, this fiscal year arun 3 will be going to the second quarter of the or uh, third quarter of the okay. next year 25 26 but book sir will be in uh, 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 second or third uh, third or fourth uh, quarter third and fourth quarter i told it fourth year and third third quarter for second year and fourth quarter of current year this fiscal year fy 
Understood, sir. Thank you so much. It will be 26, FI 26. 25, 26. Yeah. Got it. Sir, just one, one last question. Um, regarding your regulated equity, sir, how much is the total regulated equity at this point and how much uh, uh, would it be in, uh, by FI 26? Solar is how much? 1494 crore. Okay, sir. Total 7998 crore. This is under construction. Already, the operation is in the total equity is 7444 crore. Alright. The portal, if you consider both operation and under construction, the total regulated equity is 15,438 crores. All right. In, uh, in, in solar projects, um, we earn an ROE of at least 12%. Is that correct? Yeah. So, I mean, there have been... Um, so there, are, there may be few projects where it will be one, two projects will be around 10 percent, but in few projects it will be more than 15 percent or around 15 percent also. Average will be around 12 percent. Understood, sir. Thank you so much. That. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Bharani from Avendis Capital Private Limited. Please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, I just want to clarify that uh, for the operational capacity, you mentioned the equity is 7,440 crore, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what is the split between uh, equity in uh, renewables and the regulated equity in uh, hydro of this? Uh, 6,038 crore is the, in the hydro and solar will 1,402 crore. Okay. And uh, of the 7.2 gigawatt pipeline of uh, uh, renewable projects you mentioned, uh, does it include the 2.2 uh, gigawatt of projects uh, that we won in FY24? Yes. Okay. And um, so all the uh, equity required for uh, this 7.2 gigawatt uh, is what you just mentioned, which is 1,494 crore. Is it right? Yeah, right. Uh, 15 and uh, 15, uh, 15, 15,438 crore. That is total equity you mentioned. I'm talking about the equity required for the 7.2 gigawatt pipeline. 7.2 gigawatt. In fact, uh, I think it will be the lesser side mm. because uh, out of 7.2, 2,000 megawatt is under construction and. Uh, uh, Oh, okay, so the 15,438 uh, uh, includes only for the under construction capacity. Under construction. Under construction um, excludes the uh, ones with, you know where only tendering has happened. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so for the uh, projects which are in the tendering stage, how much equity will be required, sir? I'll be intimating separately. Okay. And uh, what is your total capex uh, expectation in FI25 and 26? Almost FI25, 12,000 crore, and almost similar amount or about 12,000, 13,000 crore in the FI26 also. Okay. And uh, my final question is, uh, can you give the split of this uh, capacity addition in FI25, like uh, say between uh, hydro, thermal, and uh, renewables? Uh, 
1325 megawatt to thermal. There is no capacity addition in the, in the hydro. And uh, total P818 megawatt uh, capacity. In solar. Including solar wind of 24098. Okay, so 2498 plus 1300, that's, uh, that's 3700 odd for FI25. Okay. Can you also give similar split uh, for uh, FI26? Thermal, hydro, and uh, renewable? Uh, hydro will be 1176, and uh, solar wind will be 4330. Total 5506. Okay. That's it from my side. Thanks, sir. On the way. Thank you. The next follow up question is from the line of Mohit Kumar from ICICI Securities. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. Thanks for the opportunity once again. My question is on the 1176 megawatt which you mentioned just right now. 700, 700 megawatt is your the Arun 3. What is the balance? Uh, again, uh, this uh, 2526. Yes, 526. Uh, this Malachi and uh, uh, Lodi will be coming. 66 megawatt Bhalati and 210 megawatt Lodi Hydro. 210 plus 66, 236 megawatt, right? Yeah. Okay. So, my second question is... 900 plus 66 plus 210 comes to 1176. I'll have a look. My second question, any clarity on the timelines for PPA? for the Nepal power plant? Oh, we are expecting it within this year will be concluded. As within two, three months will be concluded. Understood. My last question is, do you think, uh, is there any update on this bomb storage power plant? Bomb storage? Do you think you can, you can tender some, sorry, do you think that you can tender anything in this Cisco? The uh, bomb storage? No. No, oh, in fact, it is in the survey investigation only. Uh, so we will be completing survey investigation, uh, or it will be in the process. So this year, we are not going to have any uh, tender for the construction, start of construction of the PSP project. Next year, can I expect something in next year, sir? Next year, we can. Uh, next we can. year, we can have, uh, because we have to, we are, right now, we, there is a process of uh, preparing DPR for 2000. Uh, 400 mega, uh, megawatt uh, PSP in Mizoram. So uh, it will take one and a half year, then uh, after that we, we will be able to award the project. And our joint venture with the Maharashtra also, there are few projects where we can uh, have their uh, already projects are under operation, and one dam is there, we can have some uh, uh, renovation, renovation and, 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 and uh, we can go for the PSP. It will take some time. But uh, it may be in the fiscal year 25, 26. 25, 26, we will have some good numbers for PSPs. Yes. And sir, do you are looking to award any regular hydro power plant in FY25? FY25? FY25, yes, lower around 669 megawatt, and the Italian project 3097 megawatt. Can you repeat the megawatt number again, sir? Uh, 669 Arun, lower Arun. In Nepal? In Nepal. 669. 669. Lower Arun. And, and 3097 megawatt, uh, Italian project. In, in uh, Arunachal Pradesh. Pradesh. Are the EPC tender out for this, uh, uh, yeah, this, yeah. this project? Yeah. Understood. Thank you and all the business. Thank you. Lower Arun, within a month or two, it will be tender will be issued. And the Italian, it will take six months or almost nine months or twelve months to issue the tender. I repeat, award is in a single package or also multiple packages? I will in multiple packages. Understood, sir. Thank you, Honorable Thank you. Decided? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Honorable Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Ragini Pandey from Elara Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, hello. 
sir what would be your adjusted profit for quarter 4 fi 22 and for fiscal 24 please repeat adjusted profit for uh, this quarter and for fiscal 22 adjusted uh, you are not adjusted profit you are saying yes sir what do you mean by what what do you mean by adjusted profit can you please slightly uh, elaborate so after factoring in the non recurring items no 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 in pd we could not recurring item in the in fact there is no recurring item in the p Only recurring item is there. Non recurring, there is no non recurring item. Okay, and so what was the plant availability factor for your uh, power plus for your hydro plus? Almost it will be hundred uh, percent. Okay, and so uh, with respect to R E projects, what is the status on land and transmission availability? Uh, almost we are expecting to have uh, this transmission line we are uh, expecting that uh, we will uh, completing this uh, land acquisition in another 3 to 4 months so uh, we are uh, as i earlier said we are taking the matter to the highest authorities in the nepal uh, whether it is ibn or uh, this nea or uh, other uh, even chief secretary we are uh, requesting for this uh, support on land acquisition and they are fully committed that uh, they will make some uh, uh, this concerted efforts to uh, this uh, give land to us from uh, this uh, uh, private owners uh, okay sir thank you that's it from my side thank you ladies and gentlemen we'll take this as the last questions and i'll hand the conference over to mr rupesh sanki for closing comments yeah thank you uh, we thank uh, jven management uh, for giving us an opportunity uh, to host this call uh, we also thank all the investors and the analysts for joining this call uh, good day and take care okay thank you thank you thank you all of you thank you on behalf of alara securities private limited that concludes this conference thank you for joining us and you may now disconnect your lines thank you